previously on the tale of McCready. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Look, lady, if you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you got the wrong guy. You need a hired gun. Then maybe we can talk. really that important to you? You don't have much of a choice. Uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm gonna be straight with you. It's those two asshole... <clears throat> those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. They've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. Then I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. I'm wondering how I'm going to pull it off. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless, maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. a message to the gunners to stay off my back. Sounds like the road can be a lonely place. Until you meet someone to share it with. I... well, I... I never thought of it that way. Maybe that's why I feel so comfortable telling you all this. Oh, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. So, we're done with the Gunners. Definitely. With those two clowns taking a dirt nap, I'm pretty sure the Gunners heard my message loud and clear. Couldn't have done it without your help. You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. Stopping yourself from cursing again? Why do you keep doing that? Yeah, I figured you'd ask me about this sooner or later. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave Little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. And he's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day, he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next, he took a fever, and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. 
There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Can you trust this Sinclair guy? To be honest, I don't know him from Adam. But he brought up the blue boils and the sickness his partner suffered from. There's no way that's a coincidence. Or a trap. Would make any sense. If Sinclair says MedTech Research is the place, that's where we need to go. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech Research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing. No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Off. Let's head inside and grab that cure. Find that executive terminal. Sinclair said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. that sometime.
call a confirmed kill. Don't make me poke through all this garbage. Jammed. No way to hack this. for me.
safety off. I think we have company. Not this time! Over here. I'll take care of it. horrible. I think we're the first ones down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we can get the heck out of here. eyes on my back.
safety. I never could wrap my head around all this science stuff. What the heck happened in here? This place is trashed. has to be something worth a few caps in here. through this mess, go right ahead. We're splitting all that, right? Have fun with this junk. I have no idea what any of it does.
Excellent. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Here you go, we McCready. Holy crap, we actually did it! We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. All I care about is curing your son. I know you do. I'm just getting tired of taking instead of giving. Maybe one day I'll learn to get my priorities straight. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. things considered, you're doing a hell of a job. I like the way you've been handling things lately. Let's hope it stays that way. <clears throat> Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. McGrady, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been avoiding me, have you? No, how could I stay away from someone as cute as you, Daisy? Well, uh, you're a lousy liar, but I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god, that's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the pharaohs almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. My friend here got me through medtech. Now, all I need to do is to get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You've saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. Circling back around, what did McCready do to help you out? Running a business in a town like Good Neighbor is a challenge. Let's just say I've had my share of unfriendly customers, and McCready's been there to help me handle the situation. If McCready trusts you, then that's good enough for me. I appreciate that. He's actually not so bad. Once you get to know him. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Well? <clears throat> What's the matter? I hate to admit it, but I'm starting to enjoy this little deal we have going. We're doing pretty good. Starting to see eye to eye on a lot of things. Hope it lasts. Are you ready to talk now? I promise it won't take long. What's, uh, what's on your mind? This has been nagging at me for a while. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you. And I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure from MedTech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. And here, I wanted you to have this. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. Did you make this yourself? Do I look like the artistic type to you? My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. I never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. So you ever find out the truth? No. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. 
Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. Why would you say something like that? I guess I needed to tell someone how I felt about it. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, and I thought that feeling was gone forever. And I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. And you need your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. I was hoping what we have together could be more than friendship. I... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I never thought of us that way. What about your husband? I know he's gone, but you still love him, don't you? Would it bother you if I still love him? I don't know. I mean, we're two sides of the same coin, right? It's true. I miss Lucy to death. But at some point, we have to move on, don't you think? That's the past. You are all that matters to me now. I... I don't know what to say. I know I was taking a chance dumping all my feelings on the table. Now that I know how you really feel about me, it was definitely worth the risk. Once in my life, everything's going right. I have you to thank for it. I don't think anyone in the world could ask for a greater gift than that. Thank you.